At Volvo, we're looking at the future and what are the new capabilities, and we see a lot of inputs coming in to the car. All of that is a lot of information for a computer. We need to present that in really clever ways so that it's not overwhelming to the user. And Unreal Engine provides a creative background for us to explore what all of these capabilities can be going forward. Volvo's mission is to make great products. We aim to be a very sustainable brand and we have plans to create a fleet of electrified cars. Um, we're using new technologies and capabilities on our path to our vision of zero collision. And we're trying to make great product experiences. We want to do that in a way that continues to provide a safe driving experience for the customers. And that's part of the brand experience that we want to achieve. So Volvo is planning to use Unreal Engine in our HMIs and in our next generation electrified vehicles. Because of the quality of its visuals, it's responsive and fast and creates the kind of quality experience that we want. And it's easy to work with. In the past, it's been a lot of time between coming up with the ideas and being able to see the ideas even in a prototype stage. Previous workflow, it took months to update the graphics. Now we can do this in hours or days, and we can also get it directly into the screens, into the car. Using Unreal Engine makes it possible for us to work closely together with design. While we are using C++ for our main development, we can use the blueprints to connect to the design department. So even if you are not used to programming, it's quite easy for both us and designers to connect that data to the graphical elements. So the engineering and product teams can work very closely together and iterate a lot faster. We can learn, we can test more in context and even prototype with these tools. The responsiveness of these systems is very important. The quicker that the system can give the user the information, the quicker they can respond. So we don't want to have any lag and we don't want to get the slowed frame rates because that basically ruins the user experience. So we started to use Unreal Insights and it's a profiling tool that makes it possible for us to see how the software actually is behaving both on uh, our own computers, but also on the targets itself. We can get a good fluently uh, running software. And we can get rid of all the bottlenecks that we can find. What really excites me is we have all of these new technologies coming into play. The capabilities of what the car can do and the opportunities for creating new and different experiences in the car Unreal Engine will help us visualize that in rich, immersive ways. I'm really excited to be part of that and see what new things we'll create in this new era.